guys, I have an amazing treat for you tonight. So if any of you have never been to Toronto, Canada, I highly recommend this vodka bar that I'm gonna do a video about for you, exclusive with the owner. So this actual bar here now, it's been rebranded Brash and Sassy. It used to be called Pravda, and this bar actually originally dates back to 2003, so almost 20 years. So the, the new owner, Jasmine, she purchased this place in 2020, unfortunately, right in the middle of a pandemic. And she's wanted to rebrand this place ever since. And because of the situation with Ukraine and Russia, um, and as unfortunate as that is, that she took this opportunity to rebrand it to Brash and Sassy, which is actually a 1920s vintage inspired place. This is a full experience vodka bar. So what that means is that they have live entertainment, they have fire, they have DJs, they have musicians playing. It's absolutely bonkers and dancers and acrobatics and all kinds of stuff. So I'm so excited to bring you this video and let's go. So welcome to Brash and Sassy. Uh, originally, this was Pravda Vodka Bar. Pravda was established in 2003 as a Soviet-era vodka bar where they served vodkas from all over the world. And caviar was something special that they enjoyed among other uh, Russian favorites. Pierogies were definitely one of those favorites among other things. Over the last couple of years with the pandemic, we've had to shift a little bit, transition, pivot, just like a lot of business owners. And so we've made changes to accommodate for that. We'll talk more about the background of Pravda and Brash and Sassy. Let's get started with our tour, okay? So this is what we like to call Down Bar. So Down Bar has a very, uh, very loungy feel. Uh, this is great for happy hour. Right now, our bartender, Max, shakes up an excellent cocktail. Right now, looks like he's making some martinis. Uh, but he also loves wine, fine wines. So I have to make sure that I have enough stock or I have to hear it from him. <laughs> But um, he is an incredible part of our team here at Pravda, and he is mostly found at Down Bar, which again is more of the loungy feel. If we could turn our gaze to behind you, uh, we have a hoop in the ceiling, and that is where our aerialists will fly from the sky. And a little bit later, when Brash and Sassy turns a little bit more from a lounge supper club into more of a nightclub, you'll see our live entertainment. And one of those entertainers will be our aerialist. So she will dazzle from the skies. We also have a wonderful and entertaining belly dancer. We have a stunning burlesque dancer. And we also have a fire show. Uh, by a very talented man who just plays with fire. <laughs> yes. So this is what we call up bar. So we had down bar before, which is more of the lounge. This is our up bar. And this is where you get more of the nightclub feel as the night amps up and people are ready to have a good time. Amazing. Uh, they're making memories, some of which they will remember, some of which they won't. <laughs> uh, this is yes a piano but it is not just a piano that you would play in the traditional sense it is a real piano but we have a dancer that will be up here tonight and every friday and saturday night and she will be there to wow the crowd she also will be found at times inside our vodka freezer so our vodka freezer is divided between our bottle service area which is i'd say the first quarter and then the remaining three quarters of the freezer is where we house our vodkas from all over the world. And people, usually with a group of friends or maybe their significant other, will go inside the vodka freezer with one of our servers who will teach them about a vodka of their choice from around the world. They'll get a little bit of a lesson and they will get to take a shot. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Now over here, we have Yes, a fur coat, because we have a vodka queen that will usually take our guests into the vodka freezer. I am not a vodka queen. <laughs> you want your bottle service with a cold, hey, chilled absolutely. bottle. Yes. So yes, and by the way, when I say bottle service, this is all, this is all vodka in here. 
and we have some champagne we've snuck in. But otherwise, these bottles in the, in the freezer are only for vodka, okay? Um, and as we start over here, this is where we will get our vodkas from all over the world. And there's some interesting stories to go with with these bottles. For example, oh. Zubroka, made from bison grass. And they say that the grass makes the bison a little bit horny and they <laughs> procreate. Uh, we have Crystal Head. Crystal Head is made in Canada. Uh, Dan Aykroyd is one of the owners and it is filtered with the freshest water in Newfoundland and it is filtered through Herkimer Diamond. There is also Tito's. Tito's is always a favorite. Uh, Tito's is made in Austin, Texas. It's gluten-free, it's corn-based, and it is sweeter than your average vodka. We also have a lot of flavors these days. For example, the Ciroc flavors are favorites. My staff make fun of me in front of me and behind my back. Because of my love for this peach one, I also like the Cocoa Gold. It's delicious. You can just drink it straight. It's actually dangerously delicious. Kilos, yes. Cocoa gold. I could go on and on about all these vodkas, wow. but it is freezing, so we may yes, have to, we'll, we'll come back a bit yeah, later. <laughs> Maybe you could be the vodka queen later. <laughs> you ready for some more? Yes. Okay, let's keep going. We have two VIP areas up here. The VIP areas are usually used by people that are celebrating a special occasion or maybe just a fun night with friends. Especially right now, there's a lot of people that haven't seen their friends in a really long time because of the pandemic. And so they are coming out in big groups and enjoying this space. So this is the Emerald Lounge. And it's called the Emerald Lounge because it's green. <laughs> so the Emerald Lounge, uh, we do have curtains. Right now, the curtains have been removed because as you know, we are transitioning from Pravda Vodka Bar to Brash and Sassy. So it creates a very nice private area. Uh, people usually, they'll start off with maybe some food and drinks and then they get to dance the night away and do, I don't know what else they do in here. <laughs> Use your imagination. <laughs> so this is a diamond balcony. And the diamond balcony is one of my favorite parts of, of this venue because you can see both downstairs and upstairs and you're very close to the DJ booth and who doesn't want to be beside the DJ right so and over here in the diamond balcony you also have an excellent view of our aerialist right here who will be dancing as well as our dancers when they're on the piano or on the little platform over there. So definitely a special VIP area. So um, we are open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We have happy hour from 5 to 7.30. And as you can see, down bar is now pretty much full. And we will head up and open up the up bar around now, 8 o'clock or so.
now. We have some Pravda decor that we are phasing out over here, which is why it's here. Yeah. This, my dear, this is the bathtub. As you can see, it is still sealed. It has been delivered. It is in the venue. This is, it's finally here. You have no idea. I've been waiting for this. It is, it is a black and gold claw tub that will be housed behind those curtains. Um, it is a VIP space called Amber. And in there will be this bathtub. And why the bathtub? So Rash and Sassy is a 1920s theme. And you may recall, well, you won't recall because you weren't born yet, <laughs> but you may have read about this thing called Prohibition. Yes. And so where were they making the liquor? In the bathtub. In the bathtub. Oh, yes. And so the concept in this room is going to be all about sort of Prohibition and the naughty things people did. Awesome. So I'm not sure what naughty things will do here, but I, I have a feeling <laughs> some stuff will happen. We'll see. Time will tell. You're going to find out on your next trip. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us.